All right, Shalom, Shalom. With the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon, the grave of Jesus, America. First off and foremost, I'd like to say all uh, praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of great millstone salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Um, I'm going to just hop straight into this, man. Going into the adoption in the only way you could be adopted, you you would have to be a part of the covenant anyway. You know, you you have to be a, a part of the commonwealth. Okay, all right. You, you would have to have a spirit of Israelite, so to speak. Okay. This is our Romans eight and fifteen. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again into fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, where whereby we cry, Abba. Father, all right? Adoption. Now, what does adoption mean? Adoption. Adoption as sons, right? A relationship between Yahweh was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all other nations. Hmm, a covenant. Who was the promises in the covenant given to? Isaiah 147, Israel, all right? Amos 3 and 1. All right, Joel 2 and 27, all right? The Lord hey, is the power of Israel and Israel alone, man, all right? So he made that covenant with Israel. Who who are his sons, all right? Uh, what does Exodus 4 and 22 say? Oh, Israel, my firstborn, man, okay? It says, this is the B, the nature and condition of the true disciples in Mashiach who by receiving the spirit of Yahweh into their souls become sons of Yahweh. Psalms 82 and 6. We are already gods. All right. Read Genesis. Uh, um, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He is a prince with what? Power, man. All right. So guess what? Now we're made one with Yahweh. All right. By who? Yahweh Shai. So we're getting placed as sons, man. All right. We're, be hey, we're being put in our proper order. All right. The blessed state looked for in the future life after the visible return of Mashiach in heaven. Now, who's going to rule with ha Mashiach? All right. Who's going to be co-heirs? The elect. All right. Starting with those elect men. Guess what the Lord's are doing? He's placing them as sons. All right. The Lord is calling us his sons, his friends, his first fruits. All right. Hey, real Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shines everything, man. His his precious jewels, okay. Uh, this is Romans eight and twenty three. It says, and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirit. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, all right? Our spirits grown with our, within ourselves because we, we're ready to get out of this flesh, out of this captivity. We're looking for salvation, all right? Waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our bodies, all right? So hey, we're waiting to be placed as sons, all right? We're, we're waiting for that day. Hey, I'm going to read verse 23, all right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to read verse 32. Let me go up one. For we know the whole creation growing up in travail and pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves. So, hey, so, so, so the whole creation, the whole mankind is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Hold on, bear with me. All right. And uh, it's Galatians 4 and 5. To redeem them that are under the law. Then <laughs> there you go. To redeem them that's under the law. Who's the Lord redeeming? Who is under the law? All right? Israel, man. 
to redeem. Hey, it said no man will buy us back. So who's redeeming us? How are we redeemed? By the blood of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right? To redeem them which are under the law, that they might receive the adoption of sons. Because ye are sons, Yahweh have sent forth the spirit of his sons into your heart, that they, and that, that they start rising in our hearts, right? Crying, Abba, Father. Okay? Ephesians 1 and 4. All right? According to as he has chosen us, in him, before the foundations of the world, hey, read uh, Second Ezra 6. For the Lord did anything, even still those who have faith right now, he considered it, right? So we were predestinated. Yahweh Ratazah, we those men, all right? That we should be holy without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, all right? So, hey, 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 that's what we're waiting for, man. But guess what? Only an Israelite, whether he's a, a, even if he's a Gentile foreigner, you know, an Israelite foreigner, you know, a Gentile that's an Israelite foreigner, yet he's still an Israelite. Hey, that proves to you right there that the, the, those Gentiles, all right, were Israelites, man. Simply put, nothing more, nothing less. All right. It says what? Let's read Romans 9 and 4. Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, the glory, the covenants. All right, I, I quoted the Isaiah 147. All right, the giving of the law and the services of Yahweh and the promises. All right, and what were we promised? The kingdom of heaven, salvation, if we're of the elect. All right, so hey, that's why we're praying, all right, that uh, we get the adoption of sons. All right. Uh, hey, the creation is uh, waiting to see the man manifestation of us, man. All right, because the whole oh, the world is sick of Esau, man. All right, like, um, what's that? Proverbs 27, when the wicked is in rule, the earth mourneth, when the righteous is in the rule. Hey, hey they're going to rejoice, man. Okay? This is First John 3 and 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore, the world knew of not us, because they knew not him. Hey, we ain't of this earth. Of course they don't know us. They don't know the Lord, man. They said, hey, if they would have listened to Moses, they would have listened to me. Yet they didn't. Okay? It says, and, and do not yet appear what we should be. But we know that when he shall appear, we should be like him. For, uh, so like if we should see him as he is. All right? So we're going to have that same glory, that body, like Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Yahweh Shai, hey, Yahweh Shai is the head son of Yahweh, all right? And the rest of us is being placed right after that, man. We're caught, hey, we're co-heirs with our big brother, man, okay? This is heavy, man, all right? But to be adopted, you would have to be an Israelite, man, all right? Simply put, you ain't going to be of the other nations and, oh, I'll adopt you as my son. No, it don't work like that. Hey, my father adopted me, you know? And hey, he, I, I get I, I get my uh, so so called benefits, my um my my part of the uh, inheritance, so on and so forth. And you know, people like, well, you you're not blood. Well, technically we are, man. We Israelites, man. So it never mattered to begin with, man. Whole thing is you got to be on that bloodline, man. All right. Okay. So hey, hey with that. I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Bukhar Kadash, double honor to the other apostles of great men. So, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abad Babal.